Hey, it's Eric Keach. Today, I'm here with Caitlin Chalice, and she is another amazing, amazing member of Stronger Personal Training, and she's seen unbelievable results. Like, when she told me before what she's done, it, it almost blew my mind. I was so excited, and I'm really excited to share her story or experience and let you guys know the results that she's seen. So, Caitlin, thanks so much for taking the time to come on and do this. I really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's jump back. Okay, let's jump back to, well, actually, let me ask you this. How long have you been, at this time we're talking, how long have you been training there for? Um, I've been with Frank for a little over a year, maybe like a year and three months. Okay, so in that time, right, 15 months, right, let's jump back to before then. Kind of walk us through where you were in life, what was going on, what was the big struggle that basically led you to sign up to start training here? Okay. Um, well, when I was in high school and college, I played a lot of sports, so I was extremely athletic. I skied, I golfed, I did softball year round. I played softball through college. So I had the athletic background that I was busy doing all these sports and things. Um, when I finally graduated school, I started working in the hospitality industry and human resources. And I worked for a company called Bertucci's Corporation. Everybody knows Bertucci's and pizzas. Um, and that kind of led the downhill slide a little bit. Um, every Friday, they would order Bertucci's to come into the office. You had pasta, you had pizza, you had salads, you had anything like your little heart could desire. And I think that just kind of started the snowball effect that I lived a beer and pizza life probably for about the last 13, 14 years. Um, working in hospitality, I traveled a lot. I'm in and out of accounts. I work with top chefs that work in the world all across the country. And you go to all of these events where they're catering and doing all these food events and you eat all of that. And I think it just really got out of control within the last 14, 15 years that I I gained a lot of weight. Um, and I think that I, I, well, I definitely struggled with that, but I felt trapped in my body for the, about the last 15 years. And that's when I ended up reaching out to Frank. And like I told you, I reached out to him a few times and I didn't actually take the plunge. And I think that I was finally ready to do that when I started going through um, the weight loss program here at UMass Medical. I was actually going to go and have surgery. And I had finished the classes and I really thought about it. And I kept thinking, do I really want somebody to go in my body and twist my insides or to take things out and to do that to me? Or do I actually just want to pull my crap together and go to a gym and do it like a normal person and just lose the weight normally? I was never a heavy person in high school or any or college. Um, so this was something that I knew that I needed to wake up and get my butt to the gym. And that's how I okay. ended up being with Frank. Was there a moment or something that triggered this? So, right, you talked about thinking about having a surgery instead of going, mm -hmm. you know, was there a moment that said, all right, I've had enough. I need to do something. Did something triggered that. I think or it was just the fact that for the last 15 years, I've, I've been more of a prisoner in my own body. My girlfriends were getting married. They're all starting to have kids and they are taking off and going on luxury vacations and doing all this stuff. And here I am traveling for work and getting on planes to go visit our clients and stuff. And I was ashamed for my managers and for my clients to actually meet me knowing how large I was. And I think that's really life changing to feel that you're trapped in your own body, that you don't want people to see you. You don't want friends to see you, to go back to your high school reunion and have people see just how out of control that you've gotten over the last 15, 18 years. It's, it's traumatizing. Yeah. Um, you know, I look back at pictures, a lot of people take before and after. I don't need before. I have 15 years of before photos that I don't ever want to look at again. That it was just, it's out of control and mm. it just needed to change at that point. Okay. Well, let's talk about the after. We'll talk about, let's, we'll get into the results, right? Because, like I said, just really amazing results that you've seen. But before we get into that, I, I'm curious, right? You said you'd known Frank for a while. So you kind of had a little bit, you know, comfort in terms of yeah. when you were ready to meet him. I actually but... trained with him when he first started his first training business. Really? I did training with him and then I left him. Okay. And here I am years later coming back. Coming back. Okay. So now that you've come back, right, he's obviously grown. The gym has grown a lot of different ways. Explain to me what it's like being a part of the gym, what the atmosphere is like, and just kind of fill us all in with that. So the gym, it's, very comforting to go in. I find it to be a very supportive atmosphere when you walk in. Um, this isn't just a journey about myself or how much I've weighed. This is journey that we have women there that have eating disorders when they were younger or um, 
I don't know, they, that they take care of a parent or a family member of some sorts. Like this is something that is therapy for everybody. So when you go into the gym, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's kind of, as I refer, we are a happy girl gang when we go in there. We're the girl squad. We go in there every morning. I'm with the same group of women. And we just go in there and we just kick ass for an hour. And it's fantastic. You go in there. You sweat it out. You work whatever stresses or anything that's bothering you. And you just work it out for an hour as hard as you possibly can. Yeah. And the atmosphere is just supportive. We cheer for each other. You know, I'll look at some of the girls and say, oh, you're going to do yellow today. Why don't you lift up a purple today instead and, you know, see if that works for you. It's just it's just a very supportive environment. And we all just cheer each other on and support each other. And I like that mm -hmm. feeling. I don't feel uncomfortable there. It's, you know, some people mm -hmm. when they talk about Planet Fitness that you're going in and there's grunting and nobody right, talks right. to each other. And it's not that atmosphere. We are just really supportive of each other there. Would you would you say it's like a family? It is a family. It's definitely a family. We and not only do we see each other at the gym, but we also make nights out that we all meet up and we'll go out um, and have some drinks or go bowling or to go see movies or something like that. So we make a life with each other outside of the gym as well. Yes, a social side, which I'm guessing, and correct me if I'm wrong, you probably didn't expect that side of it to come. You thought, all right, I'm going to go to a gym and work out, but you probably didn't expect yeah. this side of it. Exactly. Okay. So let's, well, let me ask you this, right? There's all kinds of different people coming in there, right? Different ages, different, all that stuff. Do they modify things? Let's say when you came in, maybe you weren't able to do certain things. Are they, is anybody able to come and do it? Anybody is able to do it. We have members that are all of ages, um, have different disabilities or different, um, different exercises that people can't do. We modify things all the time. I get modifications because I have some lower back things that bother me. Um, so we all have a little bit of something different. I mean, what used to be a, a difficult time for me to go through and actually do the workouts, those workouts are now most likely my warm ups after about six months later of working out and getting really into it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's more of an obsession at this point. <laughs> and you probably miss it, right? Like if you if you don't go, you're probably like, oh, just throws off your day. You probably don't feel right. Yeah, I do. And I, I actually post things online that sorry, I couldn't be there or to make like yep. a motivational quote just to post it because I am thinking about it. It's a stress reliever. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you've got this social element, you've got this family, you, you've got this whole thing. You're missing it if you're not there, right? It's become a part of your life. That's a huge part that's given you a lot of the success that you've seen. But obviously the other part is the results, right? You would be staying if you weren't getting results. So let's dive into that. So Share with us what you've seen in the time that you've been there. Um, so in the last 15 months that I've been there, I've lost a little over 110 pounds in about 10 months. Wow. Um, I've pretty much done every shred that they offer at the gym since I've been there. Maybe I missed out on maybe two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've, did, I've done barbell classes and I've participated in some other opportunities that they've offered at the gym. Um, but I have gone from well over weighing 300 pounds and down 110, and I went from about a 24 woman's plus size down into a 12. Wow, wow, that's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. So obviously that's a huge thing. What else has that allowed you to do? What are the other benefits that have come along with losing that weight, getting yourself back into shape? So I travel without any problems. I don't have a problem going and meeting any of my clients anymore or saying hello to them or meeting them or attending meetings. Um, I play sports again, so I ski, I golf. Um, I'm pretty sure if I had to go out and play softball again, I'm pretty sure I could do it. I probably might even be better than what I was when I was younger. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure that would be my next thing. Um, but I'm involved in everything. I ran my first two Spartan races this year. Never done a Spartan race before in my entire life, and it was the most amazing thing that I've ever done. And now I'm kind of hooked on it that I want to do some more races. Uh, maybe a tough mutter or something along those lines. Right. Um, yeah. But it's just, it's been a phenomenal year to actually see where I came from and what I'm doing now with doing all these sporting events and being able to ski and not huff and puff or even just to walk up the stairs and not feel winded at the end of, of that. Yeah. Um, it's just been yeah. unbelievable. It's life changing. It really has been. What about energy levels? Have you noticed a shift there? I have a lot of energy. Yeah, there's yeah. definitely, I don't, I don't want to be in bed at eight o'clock at night. 
I see my friends a lot more than what I used to. I don't hide at home because I'm embarrassed of, you know, how I look. Um, I go out all the time with my friends. Um, you know, I, I participate in a lot of different events, social events for work that are local. I attend. Um, so, it, it, like I said, it's definitely been life changing. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing, too, it's helped manage. And if I'm wrong, let me know. But I'm guessing stress or like crazy work days are probably a little bit easier yes. to manage. I work out about six or seven days a week just because I have an extremely stressful job. Okay. Okay. So, so it helps it, you manage. It that. definitely helps with a lot of the stress levels. Okay. Sleeping patterns, you notice a shift there? Sleep better at night. Um, I'm not like up and down. I. As soon as I'm in bed, I'm out. I don't get up and down like I used to. Mm. Okay. Now, what have other people said? Because obviously you made, I mean, a very drastic change in a very short period of time. What are others saying? Um, I mean, a, I mean, a lot of them, they've just been very supportive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously, like, they see it, they see a change. I haven't taken a lot of after photos. I'm not really, I guess, into that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I just know that when I go shopping, I can go shopping for whatever I want and to go and fit into whatever I want at this point that I can actually pick and choose things that I want to wear. Mm -hmm. Um, and the girls, I mean, they all see that and they're very supportive and we don't really, I don't know, I guess we really don't talk about it much. I mean, yeah. we know, but we just don't really. Okay. Okay. So. Right. Just the fact that you can shop for whatever you want, get those clothes, right? You've lost the weight. Yeah. You just got this whole, like, how does, how does all of this just make you feel? I mean, it makes me feel good about myself. I mean, it made some really healthy decisions in my life. I think that at one point I might've been borderline, probably a candidate to maybe have a heart attack and drop dead because I was so overweight and not doing anything. Um, and to kind of go from being active to, um, having health issues to not having anything at all it it really is life-saving and to to be able to be a part of that has just been um, an amazing experience it's an adventure and if if it wasn't if it was easy I think everybody would do it and it's not easy to go out there and, and do that right right for sure for sure so you've seen incredible results you've got this amazing support structure and community in place now let's say there's someone who in a very similar situation to where you were Right there, they had some challenges. They felt like they had been traumatized. They had, you know, some weight that they needed to lose, lose, and they're looking for gyms. And they hear your story, and it's like, you know what? Stronger personal training sounds like the place for me. But they're still on the fence, just still on the fence. What would you want to tell that person? Push them off the fence and let them know this is a good place for them. I think that I would tell them that it's a supportive environment. Don't be ashamed because we all started at where this person is today, and to come in and just get it done that they're going to thank themselves a year down the road. They're going to thank themselves by giving themselves the gift of health. And that's really the important part is to get in and to get it done. Nobody wants to get out of bed every morning and to do this. Even I have struggled getting out of bed. Mm -hmm. But I know that I can text one of the girls from the gym and say, hey, I'm not feeling that motivated. What time are you going to the gym today? And I make it a gym date. And I go with them. And we work out together. It's just something just to keep me motivated and to keep me going. And I would say that to anybody that if that's something that you need, text us. We're here. Like we we talk to each other all the time. If you need that support, then we'll go and we'll do that. Um, so it's, you know, we're here for each other okay. that can do this. Okay. Well, Caitlin, I think it's been absolutely incredible. In, in literally in less than a year, right, the weight that you had lost and now you're going on almost a year and a half, continuing to see results and changes. I think it's just been an absolutely amazing journey for you. And, and I just want to wish you continued success and, and the best Thank of luck you. in the future. Thank you. All right. Thanks again. And you take care. Thanks.